I, to be honest with you, I, I have no idea who's still on what roster <laughs> in, in the league, right? I think people are searching. They're, they're, everyone's anxious to see some of these first games. Okay, who's back? <laughs> who is this new guy? And that's, every, that's across the country, right? And I think the, the toughest part for a coach is every summer, or at least for the last three years, we have been starting, it seems like you're starting over. The new and unyielding reality of college basketball post-COVID and in the NIL era is this. Everything is always in flux and you can either adapt or be left behind. To that end, the Western Illinois basketball rotation will look wildly different than it did a year ago. Rob Jeter's counter to that is embracing the new roster strengths that evolution has evoked. Well, I, I like our athleticism. I like our versatility. We're not as big as last year's team, but I, I think we, we have a lot more depth and we're, we're faster. So but I think once we get into our league, we should, we should be able to match up and be, um, you know, have a little better opportunity because we're just, more, we're just athletic, more athletic than last year's team. Having a proven pillar then to build around in Trenton Masner, a first team preseason all Summit League selection smooths the process. Masner's ascent also speaks to just how strong the WIU staff's player evaluation process can be in tipping the scales. A backyard steal of sorts out of Wapolo, Iowa. We really expected him on the offensive side of the ball to, to do what he did, really just be uh, a player we can count on to put some, some points on the board. Um, when we recruited him, we talked a lot about putting the ball in his hands. Watching him, we could see that was his next stage of his development. Put the ball in his hands, have him lead the team, um, not just score it, but be a leader and what that means, you know, making sure in huddles and timeouts and on the floor and practice, those types of things. So I think I saw a lot of that in him. Uh, I think the coaching staff probably first gives credit for them because just giving me the freedom that I've never really had. Um, I think everybody always ask me how I've improved so much, but I think it's just, I've always felt like I've been the same player, but I've just had coaches that give me the opportunity to be more of who I've always thought I was. So I think the coaching staff definitely has the most credit for that. Not to mention a credit to the Leathernecks player development process, who was expected to evolve even further in this, his senior campaign. Uh, the defensive side is where I think he's done the most improvement. I mean, you watch games and he's getting his hands and deflects these on, on basketballs, he's deflecting them. Um, he's getting steals, um, rebounding the ball. So uh, this was a big summer for him physically to get a little stronger, and he's done that. And so I think that it was twofold. At first it was offense, and then now the defense has started to pick up. So, yeah, pretty pleased at his development. Uh, I think just a coach just getting on me about it every single day and not just letting me settle with just being a good offensive player. Um, obviously, I have. he thought I had the athletic ability to be able to guard, so he just kept on harping on me. and. I think it just, I mean, helps the whole team. That's, I feel like the offensive side is like a selfish mentality. So he just made me buy into just the whole team aspect of playing defense. And I really appreciate him for doing that. Moreover, Trenton will get needed help in a needed area from his now finally healthy roommate. Uh, it means a lot, actually. Um, I, I had two surgeries on the same ankle and I haven't played in, I would say, almost a year and a half. So. Uh, this is big for me just to be out, be out there able to play, being able to play in front of my family, being close to home. Um, it's a big deal for me. Um, it's great. I mean, he was my roommate last year, so we were always talking about wishing, I was always wishing he was out there so he could guard, take a little bit of my time off the other team's best player. I don't like chasing around Max Aismas all game, so hopefully he can help me out with that a little bit. Um, and I think he's willing to do it too, so I think that's important with the Q. Yeah, I, I think last year when we hit some of those uh, scoring droughts, it would have been nice to, to insert a cue in there to, to at least now we can guard a little bit. Uh, we can give some of our shooters a little bit more of a rest. I think it would have been big to give uh, Trenton a rest last year at times, at key times. And, and we're asking him to guard one of the top offensive players in the league and then be one of the one of the top offensive players. And that's very difficult to do when you're playing 34, 35 minutes a game. So yeah, it would've, he would have been a big help to us last year. Well, so we don't have that team now. So now we have to focus on this one. And with this one here, uh, I think for us, the, it's gonna be the flip side. It's gonna be scoring. How are we gonna score the ball a little bit more and hopefully our defense can carry us through. Yeah.